how are we all doing uh we just um oh goodness i always struggle with this bit come on uh, that's too much no that's too much can we go midway between the two? Oh dear bear with me while i sort out our zoomy in business one day i'll sort out some kind of live streaming software but right now it baffles me if i'm honest oh gosh why can we only go from don't know why i can only go just bear with me having problems right now no that's too much that's not enough oh my days hello everybody sorry about this just trying to get my zooming in right oh that'll have to do i'm not playing around with it anymore that will have to do oh right it's quite zoomed in but <clears throat> just have to remember where i'm up to are we straight we're not quite straight are we let's go from there that, let's make it a bit more like there that's better Right, one day I'll sort out my live streaming software. But anyway, <coughs> here we got. Hi to Vicky. Hi, Sally. Hi, Gonny and, yeah, Sally and Rita. Hello. Fantastic. Got everyone here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How is everybody? How are we all doing? Um, how has your days been? How has your week been? Hi, sweet pea. You made it. Yes, you've made it. Hurrah. Let me just turn my tablet around so I can actually see. Hi, Brenda. I was just saying one day I am actually going to get a nice smooth, like you come straight into me. It's not zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. One day. Hi, Cornelia. Oh, Austria. Oh, I've always wanted to go to Austria. And Nola in Australia. Hi, Nola. Um, yeah, glad you all managed to make it. Just going to wait a little bit longer, just a few more minutes. Just for everyone to come in and join us. Um, I'm going to be using Antonio Makes papers today because they're so nice. This is actually from, uh, these papers are actually from his um, VIP kit for January. And it's called Diamonds of a Girl's Best Friend. So these are the ones I've used for this one. Hi, Annette and Beppy. <coughs> Both from Holland. Cool. Um, yeah, if I start coughing, just ignore me again. I still haven't kicked this cough. It still doesn't want to go. So I'll do my best. I'll suppress it where I can, but just uh, bear with me. Hi, Annette. Also, oh, no, I've done Annette. I've done Annette and Beppy, yep. Yeah. Elaine in Shropshire. Hi. Not that far from me, Shropshire. I used to come over to the range in Hereford and do demos there until obviously COVID. Hi, Manal in Pakistan. Wow, fantastic. We've got people literally everywhere, all over the world. This is amazing. That's what I love about live streams. You get literally people from everywhere um sally you having problems trying to get onto the group to post your makes oh okay is that the google photos group um if so mm, i don't know uh hmm i'm not sure what how to help really with that <coughs> i'm not sure exactly what the problem is um hi robin again australia hi julie isle of wight very nice i've been to the isle of wight it's beautiful over there is it sunny julie where you are it is here it's cold but it's sunny have you had any snow as well because i know some people in the uk have had snow we haven't in the west midlands well where i am we haven't uh who else have we got lots of people that's good <coughs> <coughs> as i said if i keep if i keep coughing just ignore me i shall try not to um Brenda, hi. First time joining you. Where am I? I am in the West Midlands in the UK, uh, Birmingham. That's where I am. I'm in Birmingham. Sally, where you share all your makes? Yeah, so is that, that's the Google Photos folder, isn't it? The Google uh, Crafty iSchools. I'm not sure. Have you tried logging into your Google account? <clears throat> and then if you go onto Photos, you should be able to click on, I think it's Library. And then uh, for me, it's under Shared Folders. And it's on there so um have a look on there if not maybe try and i don't know if they have a support center do they any kind of i don't know if they have a support thing um yeah i don't know sally because you're a mem are you a mem no are you a mem are you a member sally you are aren't you yes you are um right if you're a member sally you can email me so um email me later with 
what you know exactly what you're getting so when you're going into the google photos folder what are you seeing what messages are coming up etc um and then we'll try and sort it out from there hi vicky in australia i'm not very technical so is sally so just you know <laughs> bear with me <laughs> i'll do my best i'll do my best okie dokie right i think we'll probably, <coughs> probably make a start <clears throat> trying desperately hard not to cough um, right, so this I've actually done. Oh, Julie, no, not sunny at the moment. Had no snow. Okay, well, at least you've, you know. Um, Rita, you find Google Photos temperamental? Yeah, no, it's not the best. I just hate Facebook. And I haven't got the first clue how to make a group. I don't go on very often. So even if I did make a group, I wouldn't be on there. So I'd have no way of moderating it. I just hate Facebook. I can't even tell you how much I hate it. <laughs> I've had to be on for like... Um, uh, for work like with my demonstrating but I just never go on because I just hate it I hate it so much anyway um yeah so this is a self-closing box I have done a tutorial for it quite a while ago about two years ago I think I did it um <clears throat> I might do another tutorial a more modern version of it but I quite like it because quite like the shape of it it's relatively easy to do you can do it out of a sheet of A4 and um yeah you just kind of you know, you press, press the top like that and there you have your box. And it's quite a decent size inside as well. So let me just pop that bit there. Um, so, yeah, so that's your um, that's the self-closing box we're doing today. Uh, if I do do a tutorial for it, I'll do it slightly different on the top, I think. Because I've seen one that was slightly different and I quite liked the way they'd done it. But I need to sort of fathom it out. But, yeah, but this is the one we're going to do. Um, yeah, Rita, one of the fans could do it. It's just I'm not going to be on. I just don't go on. Like, I don't go on Facebook. Um, <clears throat> I actually recently joined a um, uh, something to help with, like, the YouTube channel and stuff like that. And they have a Facebook group, which I was obviously, you know, joined into. But I just never went on. Like, I just don't go on. I just can't stand it. <laughs> I can't stand Facebook. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. Right, <clears throat> okay, so for this box, you are going to need, now I did write out my instructions, let me just find them, you will need, she says, bear with, I want to sell, so while I just quickly uh, take my instructions to one side, side. hello Estrella, you're Spanish, fantastic, <clears throat> and hi Winifred in sunny Australia, sunny Queensland, fabulous. Right, so for this card, you're going to need a piece of base card that's eight inches by 11 and a half. So this is my eight inches by 11 and a half. And this is actually, I don't know if you can see that. This is paper, This is a um, card from um, Hobbycraft. And it's got a slight kind of, um, it's got like a foiled uh, scatter sort of pattern. I, I'm not very good with words today, as you can tell. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's really... Um, it's really nice it's not that thick i think these were like 180 it's not that thick but because i'm putting layers on it i think it'll be fine so we need to grab our um our scoreboard so bear with me if words don't come to me easily today quite tired again as usual so um yeah right so it's eight by eleven and a half and what we're going to do let me just double check that i definitely cut it down yes i did good Fantastic. So what we're going to do is along the long edge, you're going to score at five and a half and then at 11 inches. So nice and easy. So five and a half and 11 inches. And then if you turn it round so that your tab is at the top. Uh, actually, no, let me think. I need it to be that way around. So, yeah, we'll go this way around. So we're going to turn it so my tab's at the bottom. It, it doesn't really matter. It just means you're, it's just the way my diagram is. Otherwise, I'm going to get confused. Um, and then you want to score at one inch. And then again at six inches. OK. Now, I don't know how well you can see my score lines. That's the only thing. Um, <coughs> Sally, you've got that. Yours is a white version. Yeah, there's, they had this was one, um, uh, a pad of multi colours. They had different colours in it. Um, and it was a... It was rather nice, and I just thought, hmm, I think I'm going to use that as my base card. Um, what have we got? Yeah, Rita, send some sun to the UK. Yeah, I agree with that. Please send some sun to the UK. 
I'm going to turn this over so hopefully you can see my score lines a bit better. So I can get rid of all my cat hair from my pussy cat deciding to jump onto my desk. Um, <clears throat> who else we got? Brenda, it's going to be a lovely day in North Texas. 79 Fahrenheit. Wow, it's fabulous. Um, right, okay. So then what we want to do is I've now got my tab on the left, okay? So just bear that in mind. You're not going to do any scoring now on this tab, so just sort of forget about that bit. Oh, I know what we forgot to do as well. Sorry, bear with. You can tell I've not had much sleep, can't you? Because my brain is not working. Let me get my scoreboard back in again, just because it makes things easier. Right, so what, well, the other scoreboard, score lines that we also need to do are... Oh, I'm being a right shambles. But let me start from the beginning, as if I've not done anything. So, you want to score at... This way around. You want to score at five and a half along the long edge and at 11 inches. Then you want to turn it round and you're going to score at one inch and at six inches. Sorry to confuse everybody. Right. Then what you want to do is you're going to turn it back round so that your one inch section is at the bottom. And this is your like, um, how in, this is two inches at the top. And you're going to score at two and three quarters, but only down to that line going the other way. OK, so two and three quarters, but you're only going as far as there. We're going to cut down this line in a bit, but I just I find it easy to score it. And then you're also going to score eight and a quarter as well. And again, only down to that line. OK, so I hope I haven't confused anybody, but that's what we're doing. Right. Hopefully you're all OK with that. So you should end up with a piece. That looks like this. this is one of my old templates from when I was demoing. Okay, so that is what your um, your your score lines look like. So hopefully you can see that. I'll move it up a little bit so we can get it in the camera. So yeah, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so if you want to do a screen grab of that, you can. Um, I think this box might be on my blog. I don't update my blog very often, but it might be on there. But all your measurements are on there. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So then we can get rid of the scoreboard now, but we do need our cork board and a ruler. Hello, Teresa. You just joined a very discombobulated me. OK, so what we're going to do, as I showed you on that template, let me bring it back out again. So with your one inch bit at the top, so here's my one inch section at the top. Then you've got your big like rectangle and then your these are going to be your tabs for the bottom of your um, box. What you want to do is you're going to do these diagonal folds. OK, diagonal score lines. So what we need to do is we need to get um, our score, score thingy bob and our ruler. And we're going to go from that first this this line here, which is your two and three quarter line. We're going to go from there and we're going to go up. So the corner of our, so the edge of our card where it meets the one inch score line. OK, so we're going to go from here down to here like that. And then we're going to go from that same mark there and we're going to go to this halfway score line, which is at five and a half. And we're going to go down there like that. <clears throat> OK. Um, hi, Karen. Don't worry about being a bit late. My brain's a bit all over the place, so I'm a bit, a bit jumbled today. So this is your five and a half score line. So where at eight and a quarter you scored up, you're going to go from the top of that line and you're going to score up to the top again of where the five and a half meets the one inch going the other way. So you're going to score across there like that. And then again from here and you're going to go to where your um, one inch score line along the top meets your tab score line. OK, like that. If I turn this over, I'm hoping you might be able to see my score lines. Oh, I've gone through the card there. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, so hopefully you can see that. I've actually gone through my card because it's not that thick. I've actually pressed a bit too hard. But anyway, never mind. We will continue. We will carry on anyway. Right, so now all we need to do is, on this bit here, this is my tab. We're going to need to notch that out slightly. And then we're cutting out this whole section here. OK, but only that little bit there. So let's get a pair of scissors. And to answer any questions about where you cut, I normally cut the score line off. 
So when I'm cutting now, I'll cut sort of down the score line, but I cut just slightly over to one side. It really depends on what you're making as to where you cut. But because of this being the um, tab at the bottom of my box, it doesn't matter if it's not completely like straight line. In fact, it's actually better if you notch it slightly, but only slightly. So then what we're going to do is we're going to cut up these three lines here because these are going to become our tabs. And again, I am going to notch them ever so slightly. Not much, just a little bit. So you're literally cutting out that score line hump, as it were, that you've got. If you if you go straight, which you can do, you just have to be a bit careful to make sure that you are not, um, you know, that you are going really straight. Because what can happen is you can end up with bits of card showing out the side of your base. So that's why I just notch them ever so slightly. So let's just notch this one as well. Preferably, I should have notched it with a craft knife and metal ruler, so it's actually a bit more straight. But anyway, it's fine. It's not a problem. Okay, so that is that. Right, so now we want to go ahead and score. Not score. I always use the word score when I mean fold. We want to go ahead and fold all of our lines. I've got to be careful because of this one here. Um, everything apart from, let me turn it over, everything apart from the one inch across the top need to be mountain folds. This one across the top is going to be a valley, but everything else is mountain. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold. So yeah, how is everybody's day? How's everyone's week going? Has anybody done anything exciting since last week? Talk to me in the chat. Tell me what's happening in your worlds. Anybody got anything exciting planned coming up? Let me know. All right, that's that there. And then, so then these diagonal ones, you just want to be a bit careful because you don't want to fold, you don't want to store past that corner. So I'm going up, but where it meets the tab, I don't want to be carrying on with the fold. And the same here, I don't want it to go up there. So I'm going to bend it sort of fold it and then just stop when I get to that line when I get to the top there same here oh no I have really right let me just quickly mend this I'm going to need to put a um hi Marion I'm going to need to put a bit of tape over this score line just because I've scored it a little bit too much a little bit too crazy with that so my cat wouldn't come up on my desk. I end up with fur everywhere. There we go. Uh, nothing going on in your world. Your 50th wedding anniversary is Friday. Oh, nice. Happy anniversary. Fabulous. Cool. 50 years. Wow. That's good. Wonderful. Oh, dear. I have got a bit of cracking going on because of my score lines. Got a bit of cracking. We'll just make sure that's the back of the the back of the box. And then no one's gonna see. Oh, and I got the crack in there as well. Okay, that's definitely the back of the box. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> so you can see where all my lines are now. So now we're just gonna fold. Um, I'm just gonna fold this tab in and we're gonna put some red tape on it, and then I'm gonna fold it down the five and a half line like that. And stick the whole thing together. So let me get my um, red tape out. I did have some new red tape. What did I do with it? Oh, it's over here. It's on the other side of my desk. It's here. I've got it. Uh, yeah, here it is. Um, well, I'm supposed to be going out tomorrow for a Christmas dinner. I mean, it's not going to be a Christmas dinner. It's really more of a snack. A light lunch. But all the craft ladies that I have here, uh, we none of us were really available pre-Christmas because we were rather busy. And so we're doing our Christmas meal now rather than pre-Christmas. So we're hoping to do that. So that's going to be good. It's been nice to see everybody because we do everything. We don't really meet up at the moment. We kind of, we do like video things. So 
Um, hi, Linda. We are making a self-closing box. I have done a tutorial for this before, about two years ago. So this is the box we're making. And you just pop open the top like this and it all opens up. And you've got a nice little, but it doesn't, you know, you don't have to have anything to make it close because it just closes itself because of the way the, the um, score lines work. Right, so where were we? Um, hi, Mrs. Craft in, in Canada. Freezing rain. Oh, I don't envy your freezing rain. It's freezing, but it's sunny here at least. I don't think I'd want freezing rain. I've driven in freezing rain and it's horrible. It's not nice. Not nice at all. Right, okay, so let's uh, fold that down, fold this over, stick this down like that. Rita, your craft group met yesterday for your late Christmas lunch. I think a few people are doing this, aren't they? Because <laughs> pre-Christmas it was just too too hectic. Right, okay, so then you end up with that. So now, before we stick it all together, I'm going to go ahead and decorate, because otherwise it makes it a bit difficult to decorate it. So, to decorate it, you are going to need two matte layers. I'm using white. Two matte layers that are four and a half tall by five inches wide. And you need two pattern pieces that are four inches tall by four and a half inches wide. Okay, so these are four and a half by five. And these are four by four and a half. And then what we want to do is we are going to take our um, mat and make sure it's so that it's uh, wider than it is tall. And then along the bottom, you're just going to make a mark halfway at two and a half. And make a little mark there. And then we're going to cut from that mark up to the top corner. I'm going to draw it on first. So like that and like that. Where are we? Oh, there. Like that. So that's one done. I'm going to do the same on the other one. Uh, who else have we got? Hi, Helen. Uh, very cold and frosty in the Isle of Wight. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's cold here. I have to say it was minus four this morning, which is chilly. Not as chilly as some people have it, but it is chilly. Um, and frosty as well. I was glad I put the cover on my windscreen my car windscreen last night because this morning it was very frosty indeed right let's uh move this over here like that hi Beth don't worry don't worry don't worry we're doing a self-closing box this is the self-closing box as it looks like and as you can see you haven't got any ribbons or anything on it it just closes itself you just literally press the sides and it opens up so nice, easy, nice, easy box. Right, so I've done my um, lines. So now I need to go ahead and cut them. I'm going to use a cutting mat and metal wool and craft knife because I don't fancy my chances with scissors today. I really don't. So we're going to do it with a craft knife and a ruler. <clears throat> Hi, Irina, don't worry. Yes, that's all right. Hit the thumbs up button, please do. Um, right, now before I do this, I'm wondering actually, I'm going to put some double-sided tape on. Before I go ahead and cut this, I'm going to put some double-sided tape on just because uh, trying to tape triangles, I hate it. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like taping triangles. So because of that, I'm going to put the tape on first and then cut. Um, I should be able to see the pencil lines pretty much through my tape. Um, so yeah, it should be okay. So I'm just going to do that. If I'm using, if you're using wet glue, that's fine. But because of my um, base card, it's a little bit sort of foil and special card. I don't really want to be using YooHoo glue because I have a feeling it might take the finish off it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just tape this instead, and I'm going to make sure I straddle that line. Now you probably can't see these pencil lines, but I still can. So there we go. So I've just kind of straddled my lines. So now when I cut it, I'm going to have tape everywhere, which is good because that's what I want. So let's cut down. Oh, I forgot my blade's really... Let me just get a different blade because my blade is blunt and nobody wants to cut with a blunt blade. Um, Where is my other box? Where's my little craft box gone? Otherwise, I'm going to have to use my guillotine. Let me use my guillotine. 
I don't know where anything is. I'm all at sixes and sevens today. Bear with, bear with. I've got my tablet over there. Move that there. And then I'm just going to cut it on the guillotine. I need to remember to change that blade later. So let me just cut this quickly off camera. Uh, there. Okay, there's one bit. And then here is the other bit. The other advantage of doing this on the obviously the back of the card is that then you're not going to see all your pencil lines. So there's one piece down. And then I need to do the other piece. So let me just move this mat out of the way since I'm now not using it. Oh, if you wanted a nice, smooth, you know, well-presented live stream, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> Today is a bit of a shambles. A bit of a shambles. But you see, this is when you get to see me making all the mistakes. So, <laughs> Sally, you're only down the road from me, are you? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the sun is shining. It's lovely. I don't mind it being this cold if it's, if it's nice and sunny. I do not mind at all. The sunshine is what we need. Um, it's actually quite nice. Really blue skies, little white fluffy clouds. Lovely. Um, right, let's put this tape on here. And then I'm going to go and uh, cut it. My brain is frazzled. Frazzled. Right. Let's go and cut this on the old trimmer. Oh, you're in Worcester. Ah, I've got friends in Worcester. In fact, we've actually got a church in Worcester. Um, a couple from our church got sent out into, um, they actually started a church in Worcester. It, they hold the um, services in the, it's in, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the church, but it's right on the high street. So on the main street, it's a church on the main street and it's got like lots of um, stained glass windows all down the front. Uh, and it's on uh, Pump Street. I think it's Pump Street. I think it's Pump Street. Is it Pump Street? I'm pretty sure it's Pump Street. Anyway, yeah. So they meet there. So yeah, we've been there. I've been there a few times actually. Okay, so that's that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and stick these onto the box and then do the pattern pieces, just because otherwise they're kind of in the way on my desk. So let's um, <coughs> go ahead and stick these down. Now these should fit. Hopefully. Yes, they do. Fabulous. So you've got one there, you've got one on this side here, and one on that side there. You might find your gaps aren't all completely even, but hopefully they'll be, you know, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those down, and then we'll do the pattern pieces in a moment, just so I can make sure I don't have too much clutter on my desk. Um, June, it's still dark in Illinois. Wow. Okay, what time is it in Illinois? Let me know what time it is. Oh, another quick tip as well. Sorry. When you're cutting these out, make sure you remember which way up this main triangle goes. Because it looks like it's an any way up triangle, but it's not. So if you if you need to, just do a quick uh, arrow on the back so you know which way up it goes. Because otherwise, what you'll find is your angles don't match. They won't all line up. So just, yeah, just another little tip for you. And you're going to need to do that as well with your pattern piece. Uh, if you've got a right way up paper as well, make sure that you're, you know, measuring it the right way. You're cutting it out the right way so that it's um, wider than it is tall, etc. So, yeah. Yeah, so Sally, you know what I mean. Yep, so they have services there on a Sunday and a, do they have a Wednesday? No, I think it's just a Sunday, I think. I can't remember. But, yeah, they're just there. Um, right, let's stick this down um oh that's not the best sticking anyway it's not quite i don't know it's all right i thought it, i'd gone a bit weird at the top there but no it's okay good 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 no shelly sorry i was gonna do evenings but i did the two evenings during the holidays and then i was like i can't do evenings it's just evenings are just such a pain for me they really are because i've got people in the house my son's in the house um sometimes my husband's in the house it's just too much like it's i can't concentrate so <laughs> i've gone back to days because um to 12 30 because it's just there's no one in the house apart from me it's just so much easier i've got daylight i haven't got to worry about doing it you know with a, a light 
and then having like the light of the glare and stuff it's just easier it's just so much easier and also by the time it gets to seven o'clock my brain is even more frazzled than it is now so um yeah uh yes sally it is the methodist church in pump street but it's not actually the methodist church so we're like a pentecostal church and they um hire it out they rent it out so it's not the normal um services it's um oh see i don't know when they do the services it's after the main church so i think they do it in the afternoon i think they do it sunday do they do a sunday morning i don't know i'm not sure but yeah it's the potter's house church anyway uh pentecostal church but yeah that's they they just use the um the hall upstairs they don't use the main church they use the hall um upstairs right let's stick this one down so yes yeah, so that's what i'm doing um <clears throat> Your brain is broken. Yeah, don't worry. My brain's broken too. <laughs> I don't give my brain enough sleep. Well, I'm not allowed to sleep. So, yeah, my brain is, is broken too. Right, so that's that side. Let's stick down this side. Again, let's do the main one first. We make sure we get the right way up. Vicky, it's 11 o'clock in p.m. in Brisbane. Okay, wow. That's quite late. That's about the time I'm normally going. I need to be going to bed right now. Um, so, yeah. Right, let me peel these little tiny bits. This is the only problem with sticking tape on. You end up with these little tiny bits that are a bit of a faff to get off. Um, another little tip as well. If you don't have a pokey tool, just use a pin. I do have a pokey tool, but I quite like this pin because I've got a magnet over there and I, I stick it on the magnet and then I always know where it is. So, um, yeah, if you haven't got a... If you're starting out crafting and you don't have a pokey tool, just use a pin. One of these, like, hat pins are really good. Um... Or a braddle, that's the other thing. I've got a braddle as well. I went for years without a poker tool. Years. Um, finally gave in and got one, but these days I just tend to use my pin. So there you go. Right, that's that there. And oh, fingers aren't working either. And that there. And that there. One thing I forgot to do was to fold these this top line here as a, as a valley. So I'm just going to quickly do it now. I'm just going to fold it one way and fold it back on itself. Like that. <clears throat> yeah, I should have done that. But anyway, never mind. We've done it now. There we go. Right, stick these down. Um, yeah. You talk to me in the chat. My brain's not working. I'm not very good at... Um, talking <laughs> thinking of new things when my brain is broken like yours Shelley so uh yeah I am going to be doing a series of new like craft crafting for beginners at some point I've got loads of ideas now from everyone's suggestions which is great so I just now need to sit down and format it so that it kind of makes some kind of sense so it's in some kind of order so that will be coming over you know the next few weeks months whatever um and it will not it was not going to be one video because there's too much information on there for one video um oh you used to go to the elim church okay cool yeah yeah i know elim we've got an elim near us yeah they're quite good as well aren't they um ah edwina you used to live in worcester oh wow cool all these people used to live in worcester or live in worcester fabulous and your son still live there excellent yeah, we do concerts and things there. We've done a drama. Last um, October, we did a drama there, which we're now doing in Liverpool. Is anybody in Liverpool? Anybody watching us in Liverpool? We're doing a drama on Saturday in Liverpool in the Black E building, which I believe is like a theatre. We're going to be doing a drama there. At, I think it's like 7 o'clock or something, 7 or 7.30. So we're doing that. It's our Halloween drama. But we're doing it again because we were asked to do it. So we're going to be doing that on Saturday. So that's going to be good. So if anybody's in Liverpool or near Liverpool in the UK, then get yourself over. It's completely free. It's going to be good. Um, right, let me... There we go. Right, so we've done our two, our two sides with matte layers. So now we need to do our patterns. So our patterns, as I said, were four inches by four and a half inches. Here's my two. And these are the Antonio Makes papers. So again, I'm going to turn them over, making sure my stripes are the right way up. And I am going to measure along the bottom and mark halfway at 
two and a quarter. So we're going to make a mark at two and a quarter, and then the same on this one. Oh, come on, fingers work. Fingers aren't working. Two and a quarter, which is there. And then again, we're going to draw up from that mark up to the top left-hand corner, and then from that mark to the top right-hand corner. So we're going to mark up like that, and then up like that and then again I'm also going to add tape before I cut it again just makes things a little bit easier if you're using glue that's easier still but I don't like using glue when I'm using printed papers like these that I've printed off on a laser printer because I find that the print tends to come off when you're using something like Yoohoo because Yoohoo you do have to be careful with sometimes it melts things and does weird things to things and this is one of the examples of that. <clears throat> right, let's whack some tape on. Is anybody going anywhere nice for their summer holidays? Has anybody booked their summer holidays already? I haven't, but my son, he's in a, a school where they have a, they have longer um, a longer summer holiday than most schools. And so he breaks up at the beginning of July, which means if we're going to go on some holiday... We should really be booking somewhere for that first week, two weeks, because there's not going to be as many people, like it's not going to be as expensive as if we booked uh, for, you know, normal school holiday time. So is anybody doing anything nice for their summer holidays? Have you got anything booked? you got anything planned? If not booked, let me know what you're doing. Right, let's stick these down. I'm hoping to go to Portugal in August with church because again we've got a church over in, in Portugal so we're going to go over and help and support them so that's going to be really nice I've been to Portugal once before but quite a few years ago Valerie you've rented a villa in Spain oh nice and your whole family are going that sounds wonderful that sounds really nice. Wow, what part of Spain? I have to say, when they had that um, volcano in La Palma, I was actually thinking, La Palma does actually look quite nice. I wouldn't mind going to La Palma. Um, never really fancied going to Spain, I have to say, but I know it is beautiful. I think it's just because it's quite hot and I don't do well in the heat. So, right, so what we're going to do now is I'm now going to cut this pattern up. Again, along those lines. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. There's one. Spain does sound nice, though, I have to say. It does sound like it is beautiful, I know. There's another one. And last cut line is there. There we go, right. So there's all my pattern pieces. So now we're going to go ahead and stick them down. Uh, again, make sure that you know which way up your big triangles need to be. Um, oh, Alicante. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that'll be nice then. Be nice to, to, to finally go after two years of having to put it off. How wonderful. Weymouth, yes, I love Lulworth Cove. Um, yeah, Weymouth is beautiful. I have to say it is beautiful. Have you been to um, Cornwall as well, Sally? Um, there's a place called Kynance Cove in Cornwall. It is a bit of a walk to get to. It's a bit of a mission, um, but it is beautiful. If you can get to it, if you can do that. I don't know. I haven't been for many years, so they might have changed it. It might have more better access now. I'm not sure. But it was beautiful, sort of similar to Lulworth Cove. Really, really beautiful. But I love like Dorset, Cornwall, Devon. Ugh, some very nice places. Lyme Regis as well is really nice. Some really nice places along that coast. And even like in Wales as well. Wales has some beautiful coastlines, especially like Saunders, Foot, Tenby, all around that area. Um, really nice. And apparently, I've just recently found out about a place called Shrinkle Bay. Again, just further along the coast from Tembe. That looks nice as well. Um, oh, you're going to Spain with the camper. Nice. Again, so you have a camper van. I, I feel like that would be really useful because you could just go wherever and, you know, 
more up wherever and obviously where you've got you know you're allowed to but it does sound nice nice to be able to just travel around and just stop where you want to stop and you know yeah that definitely appeals to me <coughs> definitely appeals to me having a camper van sounds good oh come on mr tape don't play hard to get come on if you come that's it there we go but yeah cornwall's night i said even the place i'd like to go is isle of man because i've heard the isle of man's very beautiful i'd love to do the isle of man i've done the isle of arran that was beautiful in scotland we would love to go back there again i did that when i was doing my a levels um it was beautiful really beautiful right let's stick this down the other thing as well with this pattern paper if you do it like this in your sections and you know um the way i've done it today then you can continue your pattern on so that's quite good the f the first box that i did this one actually obviously you can see i can i did two um different ones so if you wanted to you could do one panel of this and one panel of that and then switch them around so you've got little triangle little triangle and then the big triangle of that is there and then you've got little you know this one here and then these two triangles over this side you certainly like you you do the opposite on the other side so that's a possibility as well yeah cornwall is gorgeous it really is it it is and i remember when i was living in london um I had friends there and a lot of them had lived in London pretty much all their life and hadn't been anywhere. They just hadn't been anywhere. And so they, you know, if they went on holiday, they always went abroad. And I was like, why are you going abroad? Like England's beautiful. Do you know what I mean, the UK is beautiful. Um, and so we actually went for like a little girls, there was about four or four of us, I think, went to um, uh, Cornwall and they couldn't believe it. They were like, I can't believe this is in England. This is in like the UK. It's so beautiful. And we went to Kynance Cove and they were like, oh my God, because the sea there is so blue. Like it's so blue. It feels like you're on some tropical, you know, like nice, whatever, tropical island sort of thing. The water is so lovely. So yeah, Cornwall is beautiful. And Devon as well. I do you like Devon? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, that's one side done. Turn over. We can do the other side and stick things down. Um, and we used to do um, Saundersfoot as well. That was another place we used to do because they used to have a, a beach team in the summer for the kids, which was great. So Ben could, my son could just, you know, go off and play and we'd just sit nearby and keep an eye. And he'd just, you know, be playing games and doing silly activities and whatever. Keep him occupied. It'd be great. So, yes. Right, let's stick this down. We're almost there. Just got three more triangles to stick down. Well, two more triangles to stick down. And then we can do the bottom of the box. Oh yeah, Sally, that sounds yeah, you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to do uh, Kynance Cove then. Unless they've made it disabled access like friendly. I know it wasn't, but then that was years ago. Uh, times were very different back then. <clears throat> Uh, monkey world i have been to monkey world i went a couple of years ago with my son in the summer um and we really enjoyed it actually it was really good it wasn't what I, I i didn't it wasn't what i was expecting i have to say and i actually really enjoyed it it was kind of better than i expected um yeah it was really good it was a baking hot day oh my goodness it was actually roasting hot um <clears throat> but it was really i really enjoyed it just nice the fact that they're all just you know out and all the little baby monkeys hanging on to their mums and it was so cute very cute indeed right one more triangle to go hurrah let's just get rid of this little bit here it's all these little bits that are a bit of a pain these little bits of tape get off um there we go this one here. Oh, Nuki. Yeah, Nuki's lovely as well. Yeah, I suspect it is. I suspect it is. Again, I haven't been to Nuki. Well, since that visit with my with my friends, we haven't been to Nuki since then. That was over 20 years ago now. Um, yeah, it's very commercialised. It's still beautiful, but I know, I know what you mean. It is, it is commercialised now. 
it's all about the surf isn't it <laughs> it's where all the surfers go nuki um it's still beautiful and even like um oh what's it called uh begins with a b it's in devon oh i can't remember what it's called nope it's gone badly no it's not badly is it badly don't know anyway somewhere in devon that's very nice it begins with a b i can't remember what it's called and it's real steep steep little windy roads and like cobbled paths and things like that right so anyway there we go so we've stuck down our patterns down and then all we need to do is we just need to pop open this is the bottom section so we just need to pop that bit open like that okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold down opposite sides and stick them together and then fold down these two and stick them together but you just need to make sure that bottom is nice and square and so this is another reason why it's really good to notch your tabs out slightly because if you don't sometimes you can end up with the bits coming out here and then you end up with a bit of card you can see the other side of it so if you notch it slightly it's it just works a bit better so i'm going to go ahead and stick those down i'm going to use wet glue i think yeah i'm going to use wet glue because then i've got a bit of wiggle time rita you used to watch the surfing championships on fiscal beach oh that sounds nice yeah i bet that was fun i have to say i've never i've sort of seen people practicing um surfing but i've never actually been to like a championship or anything but i can imagine it'd be it'd be great fun um, i've always wanted to do surfing but not going to now i think my surfing days are non-existent now not that I ever used to but you know right so when you get it like that what i would do once you've kind of stuck it kind of in the right place is place it down and just stick your hand inside and press down now, when i did it when i did my sample one i actually did it um oh that's not stuck properly I actually did it with red tape so it was a bit easier but um i just wanted that being able to uh being able to have some wiggle room there we go that's better if you're using wet glue you might want to just wait a little bit for it to kind of go a bit tacky and then do it there we go once you've got one down yeah that one's a little bit let me just trim that a little bit because that's a little bit Um, it's a little bit wonky, that is. There you go. Okay, Dave, Annette. Yeah, go and have fun with your um, album. Good luck with that. That sounds good. I shall love that. And especially when she gets older, she's going to look back on it. Wonderful. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so let's put that one down like that. And then we're going to put this one down as well. Oh, I can glue the whole thing on this there we go and then like that and then we're going to place it down open it up stick my hand in oh. there we go there we go just press that down make sure that it gets nice and stuck yeah i think that's stuck and then as you can see it does just shut by itself i'm going to put ribbon around the top uh lots of aussie surfers that live there yeah i oh, came over to get a national service yeah, that, that makes sense <laughs> right so there you go so there's your base there's your box and then all we've got to do is just decorate the top so i've actually found some ribbon some manita's ribbon from i don't even know how many years ago this was from quite a long time ago so i'm just going to go ahead and add a bit of this around the top just to sort of finish it off and also add maybe a few pearls as well um and then I'm going to make sure I stick this down with red tape because otherwise it's going to uh, possibly pop off, which we don't want. Right, so let me get a piece of red tape. I'm going to use, oh, not that one. I'm going to use some suitably sized. That's a little bit narrow. Oh, no, that's a little bit narrow, but I think narrow is better than too wide. Uh, when you put in ribbon onto a project, I always put the red tape onto the project and then put the ribbon on top rather than adding the tape to the ribbon. Because if you add tape to the ribbon, it's very difficult to get the backing off. So, and I'm going to do it in two pieces as well. So I'll do one on the front and one on the back. Because otherwise, 
again it's quite difficult to um it's difficult to whatever the word is <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying oh dear my brain is not working also if you're, when you're putting tape on it's slightly wonky it doesn't matter too much if it's sort of narrower than your actual ribbon which this is then your ribbon's going to cover it anyway so i want this to be my back because that's where my cracking is so because of that i'm going to take the backing off um off here Ooh, no. i'm just going to take a little bit off like that take my ribbon and then that's where my join is going to be my join is going to be here so i'm just going to put that on like that turn it over and then we're going to stick i can take this whole section of backing off so take the whole section of backing off and then this will just come all the way across like that just want to make sure that it's nice and even yep nice and even and then we can turn it over uh hi june thanks for the live that's good peaceful with a cup of coffee that sounds like a plan yeah that sounds like a plan right so then i'm going to bring my ribbon over again and then i'm just going to take it just slightly past where i need it stick that down like that and then just add a little bit more tape on that end so this time it is going to go onto the actual ribbon itself but hopefully it will peel off okay um so let's stick that down there like that and then i'm just going to peel the backing off Ooh, yeah it comes off quite well that's good and then i'm just going to go past with the ribbon and then with a the sharp pair of scissors i'm gonna oh, really red tape backing i don't know about you but it gets everywhere i'm going to cut that off in fact let me do it this way around it's easier when you've got an edge there we go so that's the back that's the front and then i think i was going to put a bow on the front but I, mm, I don't know if my brain's up to making a bow right now so i'm going to just do some gems i think some gems and i did find some i found these from uh these are from lucy's shop and they're called glossy amber mix of pearls oh i can't get the lid off there we go so they're really nice as you can see hopefully dear me should we should just be a pop-off lid but it's not there we go hopefully you can see those very nice all shiny so um i'm gonna get a few of those out i do like these little pots i got these from uh, a craft show and then i think they've also got them in the range as well so they did have them in the range uh let's just find some tongs tweezers I'm going to do with a one, two, uh, just finding the same sizes, that's the only thing. Two, and then I think a little one, and a little one. Yeah, like that. And I'll do the same on the back. So one, two, three, and then two little ones, four and five. There we go. Right. So let's stick these on. I'm going to stick them on with pin flare. Because <coughs> I'm loving the pin flare at the moment. Um, little tip as well. We're trying to stick these on. You really want to do make sure obviously they're nice and central. So I'm actually going to measure it just to make sure. Because I don't trust me eyeing it up at the moment. I don't trust my, my eye. So along the top, it is five and a half. So half that's two and three quarters, which is there. So that is where my first pearl needs to go. So let's just pull my little plug out of my syringe. And then put a tiny bit on there like that. Oh, hello. There like that. Is that a dry bit? No, it's done it. No, it hasn't done it. Oh. Where are you, Mr. Glue? Oh, you are there, cool. Right. Thank you, everybody. It's, uh, thank you, Sally. This is uh, it's a nice box, actually. I like. I just like the look of it, the faceted look of it. I think it's just quite um, attractive. I can't even remember where I first saw this. 
so it's a good few years ago that I first did this. Um, there we go, like that, and then the little one on the end, yeah, and there. And then we do the same on the other side. Obviously, I need to be a bit careful because I need to not move those ones around. Okay, let's turn this over. And let's measure again two and three quarters, which is here. Make a mark. Now I need to be very careful now and sort of support so I'm not knocking the ones I've really stuck on. If I was doing this not on a on a video on a you know live or whatever I would put it to one side let one side dry and then do the other side. This is a pin flare silicon glue and it's it's good for like 3D projects but I also find it useful for sticking down things like this pearls and stuff and like if I was using the flowers I would use it for that as well. I'm actually really loving the pin flare. It can be quite um, expensive I actually got this from the motorcycle museum when I went and it was um there was a stall and I didn't get this from there but there was a stall who was doing up an offer that made it relatively inexpensive or cheaper than normal anyway um there we go so there you have it uh just a little tip with the pin flare as well if you do put it in the syringe when you've finished just pop a little bit out, like literally like not very much at all, a little bit out like that and just leave that to dry. And then when it's dry, you can then put your little end on the syringe. And then when you come to use it again, you just pull very carefully, pull that little plug because it will have dried, pull that little plug out and everything underneath it is all still wet. So a little tip with the old um, pin fair glue. Um, bye, Karen. You're off. Um, right. OK, so there you go. So there is your box. So two boxes. Again, if you want to go over to Antonio Makes, don't forget to use my code to get you 10% off. Um, yeah. So there we go. So this is Diamonds are a Girl's Best Friend. This was the VIP kit for January. And there was another VIP kit with January as well. There was two, I think, in the, in the VIP for January. And then this one, I think this was either, um, I think it was a Midsummer Day's Dream. Let me check it actually. I think that's what it was. But let me have a quick look and see what it was called because I cannot remember. Uh, where is my. There it is. Let me have a quick look and see. Oh, hello, Cindy. You've just woken up. <laughs> well, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, right, so that paper is from. Uh, it is from. Mother Nature the Sweet Garden. So this paper is Mother Nature the Sweet Garden. That's where that's from. So yeah. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you, June. Uh, thank you, Vicky, and everybody, and Rita and Teresa. Yeah, so yeah, there you go. So that's all I have for you today. I just thought I'd go for a relatively easy box. Um, because you can I like the fact that you can make it out of an A4 bit of card. So you haven't got to worry about not having a 12 or 12. Um, if you want to make it, I know some people haven't got A4. Their A4 is, is you know, letter size or whatever, and it's like not 11 and three quarters. It's more like 11 and a half. So you can easily do it, you know. And if you want to, you can change the depth of this as well. Uh, but yeah, so that's how it is. So it's nice and easy. Um, Cindy, you and your granddaughter spent the night. Uh, okay, and she stayed up late. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, um, that's fair enough, isn't it? It's fair enough. Thank you, darling. So, yeah, so there we go. So there you have it. So I am going to pootle off and I'm going to go and um, edit some more videos. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I've done a, another version of the double tuck. So I filmed that yesterday. I need to edit it and upload it. So this one that went up on Sunday, I think it was. Um, I've done another version of this. So that, as I said, will be going up. So I can't wait to show you that. I've got another one, possibly two more versions of it after this other version. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. If you subscribe, it's completely free to subscribe. 
doesn't cost you anything but it really helps me and if you hit the notification bell then it will let you know when I've uploaded a video so that's always a good thing to do I do that with my the people that I follow that I subscribe to um so yeah yes yeah, sweet pea you could put your cookies in that yeah you could and it's just I, I just quite like it it's just quite and obviously you can size it up size it down you can make it smaller if you want to um because of the way it's done it's quite easy because you literally as long as you've got your heart your you know half inch for your tab and then whatever's left you divide by two and have half and half and then yeah just do you you know it's, it's quite easy to kind of resize if you need to so um yeah i hope that you will um do you did you find out where the embellishments came from which ones these these are from lucy abram's shop um that's this one's the glossy amber mixed pearls these are lucy abram's shop um which other embellishments oh on the top corner fold right they're from china now let me get the packet i don't know if i did the, showed you the packet on the um thing they're from china on the video they're, they're, they're from china but i'm not sure i'd need to look back on all my orders it was this one the tranquil place creature no creative path this was the pack so that's all the ones you get um, and I think I just put in die cut shapes. Um, it was AliExpress. I think I put in die cut shapes. And then there were these. There was a few. There were these. I also got this one called Good Time, um, which was lovely. Um, they're just useful. I just found them useful. Just quick kind of thing. And then this one, which was um, Wild Mode, which is more you kind of like you know, uh, travel kind of things with hot air balloons and logs and stuff. And then this one, which was all like rains and clouds and watercolour type things. Um, I will try and put a link if I can find it, um, but I didn't have a chance. But yeah, they, I just like them because they're just sort of quick and you can, because you can usually find patterned papers that kind of go. So yeah, so that's what they were. And at the same time as I ordered these, I also ordered these packs of butterflies. It's on one of my craft haul actually. It's on my craft. I did a craft haul with all of this on, and the links for it were in the craft haul description. I don't know if those links still work. They might have sold out of the products, um, but it's definitely on that haul. So where you see those butterflies, I think that was on the the first photo, actually the title photo, the thumbnail photo. I think the butterflies were on it. But I'll I'll try and have a look anyway, and I'll see if I can find the link, and I'll I'll add it if I can. But yeah, so anyway, I'm going to poodle off and I'm going to go edit some videos. So have a good rest of the day, everybody. I'm going to take you off the ceiling in a not very smooth way. You're going to have a better look at my boxes. There we go. Please be careful I don't knock those pearls on the other side. No, I haven't knocked them yet. Um, but yeah, but I shall see you all next week. And obviously you've got a video going up on Friday, another one on Sunday. So I will see you then. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining me.